Hey there guys, in this video we want to tell you a little bit more about the decontamination process. So we're just going to do a couple of quick clips and explain each one as we go. So before we do any decontamination process, something we, you must do before beginning is start with a clean car. Uh, quite a lot of the time we see people going, oh do I just two bucket method and dive straight into clay bar? And, uh, what we want to do is get the car as clean as possible and then we're going to go through the three steps to the AM Details decontamination process and why they do them in the order around. So first up, we detar. The reason we like to detar is because nine times out of 10, tar chunks are larger than iron. Tar is also a lot easier to remove than iron. For removing tar, we like to use spray tar removers. You can get your ones that are designed for putting onto a microfiber, locating your tar, and then working away in that area. But what we like to do is spray the tar remover onto the panel. Make sure it's a cool, dry panel. Um, it can be a wet panel if you want, but it won't be as effective. And what happens there is the liquid then has time to get in behind the tar and actually work it where it's attached to the paintwork. Leave it to work for a little bit, then get a microfiber cloth. Prime that cloth with some tar remover, and then nine times out of 10, it's just a simple wipe over process to remove the tar. After that step, just give it a quick rinse down to make sure you've removed all your tar chemical. So then we'd like to move on to the iron removing. Iron removal is a much easier step now that you've got these new chemicals coming out. So first up, you have to spray the chemical onto the car. Again, doing this onto a cool panel. If the panel is quite hot and you find that the tar remover is maybe going a bit cloudy or looking like it's going uh, chalky white, just take a couple of step backs with your pressure washer and mist some water on there and it'll just help to rehydrate that panel. Once iron's been on the car for a while, you'll then start to see that the reaction happens in the removal of the iron. And just like the tar, we then like to get a microfiber cloth, put a little bit of iron into the cloth just to help with the reaction and then lightly agitate wherever you see the iron. So once again, once you've done the iron station, just make sure you rinse down the car, see if you can get rid of all that iron chemical that's on there. So up next, we're then gonna use the clay bar. So we've removed everything we can chemically. So now we're gonna to have to use a light abrasive to remove all the natural things, such as your tree sap and your exhaust suit and paintwork overspray. So what you need to do is highly lubricate your panel. For AM clay, you can just use water. And if you're using another clay bar that's maybe a bit rougher, then you could use our AM detailer or any detailer you've got in your garage or shed. Highly lubricate the panel and then also do the clay bar. Then rub the clay bar gently with positive pressure over the paintwork. Once you're finished clay barring your whole car's paintwork, there's no need to throw the clay bar away. You can keep it and use it later for your alloy wheels and your windows. A little tip we like to do after we've done the full decontamination process is just do one final snow foam and rinse. Just make sure you've removed all the chemicals from the car and it also gives you a visual inspection if there's any more contamination on the paintwork because you'll see the water sticking where there's still things stuck to the paint. Hi there guys, so I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you did, please like it below. If you've got any questions on it, fire us a comment and if you want to see more, then subscribe. You can also find us at www.amdetails.co.uk and we're on all the social medias, you just got to search for AM Details.